In the Bible, we find one of the most beautiful appeal from God. It says, Today, if you hear His voice, harden not your heart. Would you like to spend this day with God? Listen to this devotional. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen G. White. His Abiding Presence Thou wilt show me the path of life, in thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Psalm 16, verse 11. This world is our school, a school of discipline and training. We are placed here to form characters like the character of Christ and to inquire the habits and the language of the higher life. Influences opposed to good abound on every side. The developments of sin are becoming so full, so deep, so abhorrent to God that soon he will arise in majesty to shake terribly the earth. So artful are the plans of the enemy, so specious the complications that he brings about, that those who are weak in the faith cannot discern his deceptions. They fall into the snares prepared by Satan, who works through human instrumentalities to deceive, if possible, the very elect. Only those who are closely connected with God will be able to discern the falsehoods, the intrigues of the enemy. Think of the glory awaiting those who overcome. They will see the face of him in whose presence there is fullness of joy and at whose right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Let us allow God to control our minds. Let us not say or do anything that will turn a fellow being from the right way. I feel very sad as I think of how few there are who show that they have tasted the deep blessedness of communion with a risen ascended Savior. Men of the world are striving for the supremacy. God's followers are to keep Christ ever in view, inquiring, Is this the way of the Lord? A holy desire to live the life of Christ is to fill our hearts. In Him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. In Him are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Oh, that our people could realize what advantages would be theirs if they would look constantly to Jesus. We all, with open face, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. 2 Corinthians 3, verse 18. He is our Alpha and our Omega. Pressing close to His side and holding communion with Him, we become like Him. Through the transforming power of the Spirit of Christ, we are changed in heart and life. His words are engraven on the tablets of the soul, and we are His witnesses, representing Him in the daily life.